Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we went face to face with Magus. And, well, we won, but that's not all. Somehow we all got sucked in a portal and of all places we ended up here. Not exactly sure why. But when we got here, Ayla was looking for somebody. She was looking for the Laruba villagers, and as you can see, we now have access to the Laruba Ruins. The reptites have taken Kino. What will they do now? The reptites followed Ayla. Hmm. All who fight seem to perish. Is it now? Reptites followed you, so village is now ruined. Ayla feel bad. The reptites are strong. They live a long time before we did. They are smart, and so we hide. But Ayla wants to fight. Why? Ayla fight while alive. Win and live, lose and die. Rule of life. No change rule. Old man breathe, but dead on inside. She's a poet. Gotta love this game. <laughs> you strong, can make big talk. We have no power. We do have power. Fight, gain more power. It'll help you, but need dactyl. Give dactyl. Need the dactyl, huh? Go to Tyranno Lair. It'll want to die. Want live, so go there. Ayla be okay. Go to Dactyl's Nest. The Keeper will help. Thank you, old man. Did, did she just go right past us without noticing anything? You, take care of Ayla. So, so is that my plan now? Can't do anything up here. That's all there is to do here. Yeah, they burned your village down. There's really nothing left. That's, you know, hence the uh, the smoke there. Well, they said uh, to go look for a dactyl. And there's only one area around here that we haven't gone into and actually completed yet. The dactyl nest. Now, when I showed you this much earlier in the game, you I showed and I demonstrated that, you know, this area was not particularly easy. Um, it's a little bit better now. And we have some more text to take advantage of it. And uh, we're nowhere, no, in nowhere near the uh, type of place we were before. Now, when you target these guys, sometimes they will counterattack uh, by spewing lava all over the place. I think we fought uh, similar enemies like that in the past. Or maybe it was just that we fought these guys. But yeah, the initial attack, they have high defense. The secondary attack, once they've opened up, they have much less defense. All right. So just keep going up here. So this is how long we would have had to wait uh, in order to come up here to get, uh, as I said before, the only, there was only one really good uh, piece of equipment around here. Uh, Napalm's not going to work. Okay, uh, Flame Toss? Flame Toss is not going to work. Fire Whirl. Flame Dart. Fine! We won't do that. We'll use normal attacks. I don't think I need to heal yet, but it's nice that I finally have an all-targeting healing spell. Avian Rex. There's not really all that much to these guys. Uh, but they're in a couple of spots. They're really hard to skip. Uh, they're like frame perfect, uh, you know, pixel perfect spots in order to skip the battle. Um, I don't know how to do it. Watch a speed run if you're uh, interested in learning that kind of uh, that kind of tech. I don't have the patience for that kind of thing. All right. So we got another mid tonic here. Uh, you can bypass those guys if you want. You just have to skip them. They're easy enough to skip. Uh, what else can we show off here? 
Well, we've already shown it off, but we can use uh, lightning too. That might open uh, everybody up and then we can finish them all off. There we go. Now they're one shot away from being toast. Perfect. Yeah, this was like, there's a lot of areas that I would try and explore in many of my earlier runs, um, you know, go off to the side and do this area that you're not supposed to do yet. This was never one of the ones I really went to too often. I definitely did it once or twice, but uh, I learned early on that there just wasn't all that much here. Now here, it's actually possible to skip. I don't know how to do it. You have to line up on a perfect pixel and then you can get on those stairs without uh, without worrying too much. And it's pretty, pretty cool actually, um, if you ever watch anyone try and do that. But again, it's speedrun tech and well, I don't know how to do speedrun tech. Um, yeah, see, this guy will counter by throwing rocks if you don't one-shot him. Uh, so I'm going to throw a water spell, and I think that should be enough to finish him off. Yeah, the, uh, the cave apes are pretty strong, and they do... Ow, I guess that doesn't work very well. Never mind that. And... Let's go for the slash. Might finish... Oh yeah, right, it doesn't finish off anything. Well, this is not going particularly well at all. Go for the normal attack. Much better. I think we'll uh, we'll keep that up. And I'm actually gonna hold Colonel back here. Now, um, frog, use that heal. And here we're gonna go fire sword on this guy. Not the greatest healing in the world, but it's at least all targeting healing spell. There we go. Much better. The disadvantage to a game where you have to hold down the uh, B button in order to uh, run is that it's pretty obvious when you're stopping to take a drink. And this is it. This is the item that you would have come all the way up here earlier in the game to pick up. And at the time, we would have had access to the Titan Vest. So 99 versus 119. It's 20 points better, but in the grand scheme of things, it's only one piece of armor. I don't think it's the most, like the best use of our time to try and come all the way up here and get that... Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. You know what? I like the Dark Mail. It gives an additional 5 to magic defense. So we'll put that on Frog's got how much defense? 109. Yeah, we'll give it to Frog. Try and balance out uh, what we've got going on. You can skip these guys as well if you want to. But uh, yeah, that's the whole reason you would have come all the way up here earlier in the game if you so desired to do that. Gotta love X Strike. It's so synonymous with this game that in the sequel, Chrono Cross, they actually brought it back, which was uh, nice to see. Normal attacks actually do relatively well up here. In fact, that's probably your uh, your best way of going about a number of these fights. Alright, can I up the ladder please? Thank you. That's another one I believe you can skip it, but again, I don't know the tech for it. Alright, fire whirl? Fire whirl. Ow. Probably should have used Slurp on Chrome. He's getting the crap beaten out of him. Please tell me I still hit the other one. Good. Finished off with that fight, and that's pretty much all there is. It's not a long dungeon by any stretch of the imagination. 
there's a uh, red sparkle up on the right there. Interesting. I wonder what that is. You can't be serious about going alone. Trano layer dangerous. Maybe I'll perish. We owe you one. Well, since I believe she's the one who found us up in Mystic Mountain after our battle with Magus, and she helped us get the gate key back from Azala, I think we kind of owe her twice. So, and she gave us a dreamstone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we owe her something. You have strong friends. We're all going to Trano Lair. Nice. And this gives us our first access to Interesting. Gives us our first access to what basically accounts for an airship. It may be a prehistoric airship, but we have access to it. So let's open up the uh, menu here and not bump the microphone. That would be beneficial. Um, so yeah, the uh, layout of the area looks a lot different from all of the other maps that we've taken a look at thus far. So let's do a little bit of exploring. Not that there's much to see. It's a relatively small world map. Mystic Mountains. We have quick access back into the uh, the Reptite layer there. We don't have to go through the forest maze again, which is nice. Um, there's basically not a whole lot to it. I like the fact that they show like the, the white here, you know, to kind of show like, um, I don't know, whitewater rapids kind of thing for the, uh, when they've painted the, the river there, which I think is cool. And up here, we finally have access to Sun Keep. There's nothing here. Huh. Wonder if that'll be important later. Not like Chrono Trigger just put in a random thing that we can't do anything with. We can land a number of places, but there's not a whole lot around here we can do. In fact, other than the Sun Keep, we've explored everything thus far. Uh, there's nothing really else to deal with, except go into the lava-based area. And as you can see, that's pretty much it for the rest of the world map. Trano layer is all that remains. You can bypass those guys, I screwed up. Um, basically, you have to go by them without them seeing you. Uh, let's see, let's go for the uh, fire whirl here. And I think we're gonna heal up Chrono a little bit there. Hey, they've got more HP now. I'm glad I healed up Chrono. <laughs> otherwise, he's probably a little dead. All right, let's go for another Fire Whirl, since we can hit all of them there. And then I think we'll have Luka Cat Attack, which I would guess would be the only one left alive. If there's nothing for the uh, the Cave Apes to throw, then I don't think they counterattack at all. I learned the Life Spell. Would you look at that? Learn the Life Spell, bring an ally back to life. It's uh, quite a valuable tech, and it only uses 5 MP. It's going to be a long time before we learn anything else. Ayla is about to learn Rock Throw, which is very nice. And you're still working on that. You're working on that. I want to learn Heal Beam. Yeah, let's, uh, let's bring Robo into the party here real quick. I'll be uh, switching up my party a bunch in this area. Hmm. Oh, more guards. Yeah, these are updated uh, reptites from before. They may share the same name, but uh, that's about it. Uh, no. Slash will not hit both of them. Max Cyclone will not hit. We can use Rocket Roll. Does uh, magic base damage. A little bit of variety. There we 
go. It probably makes more sense to just physically attack these guys. And with that, got to level up, learn Rock Throw, learn Heal Beam, learn Falcon Hit, and we just learned probably somewhere in the top five of best double techs, dual techs in the entire game. Now here, let's uh, fight these guys first here. But yeah, Heal Beam is a very nice addition to have. It's stronger base power than uh, Frog's Heal spell, even though Robo has a relatively low uh, base magic stat. So if you do raise his magic stat, he gets more out of it. Probably should have used Cyclone there. Oops, that's my bad. Yeah, definitely should have used Cyclone there. Good thing he gets his turn really fast. The advantage of Chrono, he's got that massive speed. I think his base speed is the highest in the game, if I remember correctly. It's either his or Ayla's. They both have very high speed. I remember? Oh, well, that's a graphical glitch. <laughs> yeah, so there's just supposed to be a bunch of those guys in there. Now, when I was a kid, I was looking at them. It's like, oh, I could free those guys. Eh, nah, let's just go downstairs. We don't, we don't need to free them. Um, let's go and bring in Marley. Jailer. Ah. Thanks for bringing, er, being the main course. It's the apes! And of course, I'm gonna bring everyone in here to just show off variations of different texts that we could use. Vulcan Hit. This isn't the best way to demonstrate it, but it hits all enemies in the line, does a massive amount of damage, makes use of Rock Throw, and I think Chrono's Spin Cut, if I remember correctly. And it's very, very powerful. It's all physical based and it hits all enemies in a line. And what constitutes a line is relatively fluid and it changes a bunch. So it's really nice to have. Hello. Let's hit the uh, button. Mm, can't hit the button. Well, we found Kino. Uh, wouldn't you just try and hit the button? I know it didn't work for me, but in every other part of this area, that's how you open any of the uh, doors, is by pressing that button. Ow. You did 12 flips and hit the wall. That seemed very painful. No matter. Kino escaped with the Laruba villagers. What Ayla do? Put an end to this. Kino wants to come. If Ayla did, Kino knew chief. Not exactly sure how that worked. I think she just did a body slam into the uh, into the gate and it broke open. Not a very good uh, jail if you can break it open that way. Though Ayla is a bit of an exception. <laughs> Ayla's strong, no lose, and show you something interesting. That'll be helpful. Open up this mid ether. Now I can't remember if the first time I did this I. Yeah, because he opens that up. I think you can open it too. I remember as a kid, I was like, I was actually cluing into the logic of things. They're out. How did they get over here? How did they get... My my dactyls! They're going to steal my tactiles. I'm not going to be able to leave. I'm stuck in here. No! Come back! Hey, look good, Chief. No! I want my dactyls. I want to be able to leave. How the hell did they get away from here? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, they don't really ever acknowledge the logic of this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you wait until they're going down, they will immediately shoot down and try and come back up. If they catch you in their eyesight, even if they're off screen, you'll be forced to battle them. But there is a way to bypass that if you care. Now here, there are enemies on either side. 
you can choose to fight those enemies, or you can step on the switch and drop them down. Uh, I never remember which side to go to first. So here, you can bust in here. Okay, that's the way forward. So let's go this way first. Now, if you go directly over to the side there... Oh, which side is it? It is this side. Nope, I was wrong. Crap, I can never remember... The reason why I can't remember, okay, by the way, if you drop them down, you're forced to fight them at this point. <laughs> so they don't give you a nice way out of it. Um, let's go for lightning two, because we want to shock the one enemy, deal a bit of damage to the other ones. Ice toss. This hits both enemies, and I'm going to target it over here, because I think it'll be the most effective. This one uses Rock Throw and Marley's Ice Spell. She just chucks a bunch of ice chunks over and holy crap, look at that damage. It is so nice having different characters in here that have different amounts of uh, like different abilities and everyone's pretty much useful throughout most of the game. It's only when you get to the very end that one or two characters lose some of their effectiveness and it makes more sense to focus on, you know, four of the, uh, the six, I think, that we've got so far here. How many characters do we have? Yeah, the six. Okay. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, that was the wrong way. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Yeah, if you are careful about it, you can avoid those fights. So I'm, if you run over and try and go out the door, you'll actually run into the enemies first. So knocking them down, if you don't plan on falling down, will end up getting you the item. So getting this side gives you an item. That side drops you down. Now I'm gonna go and dance around out here and see which enemies we can fight and show off all the different variations of it. Uh, but I'll be cutting the actual battles. I'll just show you that how many encounters we can get here. Okay, just the uh, the two battles that we can fight around there. Let's uh, bring in Frog there to uh, team up with Aelin, and see what other fights that we can uh, get into with them. Alright, so obviously we can fight these three here. And let's go for the kiss on you and the slurp on you, since you're really low on health, and cyclone these guys. Uh, the reason I'm showing this fight um, is because I know I'm going to learn uh, some dual techs here. And yeah, it, uh, might as well just show the fight anyway. It's pretty straightforward. We can finish them all off with normal attacks. This party's got really high uh, physical attack power right now, so... Oh, wow. You didn't finish it off in two hits. Surprising. Oh well, we're just out of the damage range it looks like, unless we get a nice critical. But yeah, look at the amount of tech points we gain around here. It's fantastic. Slurp Kiss. Bubble Hit. There are lots of nice abilities around here. Any more fights? I can't remember. There might be one more. Yeah. Yeah, I thought there was one on the side there. That's it? You give me one enemy. Nice. Okay, then. Uh, we're going to go in here. And uh, this is an interesting area. Because there's a bunch of invisible teleporters all over the place. And it kind of sucks. Uh, here's one other thing. Uh, we're going to use Frog to attack uh, the Volcano. Now the thing is, when you attack the Volcano, as this guy just did there, he will counter by attacking the opposite group with the Eruption. Here, because I attacked him, he's going to attack them with it. So you can actually get some relatively effective damage against the enemy by using the Volcano to your advantage. 
Nice critical. Yeah, but we get crazy amounts here. Now, the way it works is you run to certain spots. So here we get a revive. And that one warps us right to the exit if we want. And there's a fight right here as well. Um, but that's not the way to get all the treasure. We want to show uh, the ability to get all the treasure. So let's take a quick look at some of these other things here. Bubble hit. Um, we'll finish off you with bubble hit. Belly flop! <laughs> Make sure to attack the volcano so we can get him to attack the enemy for us. He does quite a bit of damage against the enemy. Um, not very much uh, when the, uh, the enemy attacks him. But yeah, the warps are all over the place. And you never know where they're going to lead you unless you like have a map. See, like I try and go over here, I'm not going to be able to get there. Here, we get a Ceratopper. Nice. So yeah, it's going to warp us around. If I remember correctly, we want to go right here. And then here, which warps us in here. And then we get another Mesomail. So let's give that to Robo here. In the Mesomail. And we got the Ceratopper. The Ceratopper is just a new piece of helmet. A new piece of headgear, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I just like the name of some of the things, you know, just like a Triceratops helmet. It's just randomly cool. Give it to Corona, why not? Everyone else relatively has decent... Uh, actually, I should probably give it to you. You need it more than anyone else. Um, so let's give it to Luca, who has the lowest base defense. There we go. Alright, so that warps us there. And I think that's given us access to all the treasure around here. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, from here on out, there's more battles to be had. So we're actually going to skip this for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back out of here in between episodes. Because if we go back to the store, uh, the trading hut, there are actually new pieces of equipment that we can get. And the reason why I didn't do it up until now is because I needed to build up a few more items, like the, uh, the petal, fang, horn, and feather. In fact, I'm going to have to go farm a few uh, more horns off screen. I'll probably do it in the hunting range. But yeah, I'll do that, and then at the start of the next episode, I will show you guys uh, what new pieces of equipment that we can get. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.